Pug Tato Finds a Thing by Sophie Corrigan. This is Pug Tato. He's a simple, good spud. He can often be found digging in the mud. One day, he was planting some seeds in the ground. He dug up a thing all shiny and round. Pug Tato thought hard, but he hadn't a clue what this thing was or what it could do. So he cleaned up the thing and took it away to show his best buddies to see what they'd say. High in the shrub, Tweetroot fluttered her wing. Tweetroot, calm down. What on earth is this thing? That thing's for me to keep warm in my nest. So she plopped down upon it and puffed out her chest. Oh, that's much too warm now. I'm afraid we can't stay. Then Pucktato grabbed Thing and they went on their way. He then asked Tomato down by the puddle, Do you know what this is? It has me befuddled. Well, that thing is for bouncing, he croaked. What a treasure. And he gave it a wet bouncy lick for good measure. Oh, this won't do, Pugtato said with a sigh. And he took Thing away to give Persnip a try. Persnip was napping, which was not a surprise. But a woof from his friend made him open his eyes. Sorry to wake you, but I am confused. Can you tell me how this little thing should be used? Of course, Persnip purred as he stretched out his paws. That thing is for scratching to sharpen my claws. As soon as Pugtato heard Persnip's advice, he had second thoughts. Scratching's not very nice. Finding out about thing was a difficult task, but Pugtato had lots more best spuddies to ask. Carrot thought Thing was for gnawing and chewing. And Cow Badge, well, he simply stared at it, mooing. Pogtato showed Thing to the three Brussels snouts. They snuffled and snorted that thing all about. But they snuffled so hard, it shot up like a spring. Right to Cauliflower, who gave chase to the Thing. Cauliflower was sure a new toy had been found as he barked that thing loudly and tossed it around. Now Pugtato was worried. He'd become quite attached. He didn't want Thing to get dirty or scratched. But when Thing rolled away from his best spuddy's paws, it landed near Crockley's big, snappy jaws. Oh dear, yelped Pugtato. This isn't good and he ran off with Thing just as fast as he could. When he came to the field, there, mysterious and tall, stood Unicorn on the cob, the wisest of all. Hello, do you know what this strange thing might be? Like everyone else, you're much smarter than me. Oh, little Pugtato, you must follow your heart, for it holds all the answers and sets you apart. Potato stared hard at that thing he had found. Perhaps it's just shy, so it hides underground. I may not know much, but I know when I see a thing that needs hugs. So here's one from me. As Potato was wagging his cute tato tail, there suddenly appeared a curly kale snail. Pugtato was happy, despite being muddy. I know what you are. You're my newest, best spuddy. This is Pugtato. He may not feel smart, but he's wiser than most when he follows his heart.